What a way to start this two-year tour. Yeah. After what we've gone through over the last few months, we kind of needed this to pick us, pick us off the floor. Well, this didn't turn out to be quite how we thought we were going to start this video. Or how we thought we were going to start this big two-year tour down to Turkey and back. Um, God, where do we start? I, I suppose first, welcome to Germany. We, if you saw last week's video, or been watching the channel, you know we dashed back to the UK for Alison's father's funeral. And it's actually been over three weeks now since we stopped filming the last video. Got on the ferry, lovely smooth ferry ride. I think we'll keep doing the ferry now. Depending <laughs> on the weather. Yeah. So then we've spent the last, must be nearly a week now, five days, just taking a slow drive through France to get to here, mm -hmm. which is right by the border to France is just there, right by the border by Strasbourg. And we've come in to see, well, spend a few days exploring the Black Forest, which is somewhere we've wanted to see. Yeah. However, park up. So, we've heard a lot about German park ups. They all seem to have a cost, which is, if, if you follow the channel, you know we don't tend to like paying for park ups. We tend to, well, camp a lot and just find freebies. This one is a tenner a night. However, however, we've not paid, which is bad of us. But the reason we've not paid is, so if I do that and then push OK, if we try that, hopefully this will come out, this refused to take the payment. There you go. Well, thank you, Germany. Germany, thanks for the first freebie of the night. Um, which I suppose then leads on to the next thing, which is we're not sure what parking's going to be like here. We know there's a lot of these really cheap airs, because it's actually quite cheap. Because it's got electricity and all the facilities and that. For £10 for 24 hours isn't bad. No. But we do believe wild camping in Germany is heavily frowned upon. We believe. Mm. We, we're going to give it a shot now and again maybe anyway do you know what the other thing we've got to tell you it's blooming cold it is brass monkeys out here and that has really hit us hard hasn't it we're suddenly down to like four degrees three degrees at night so uh i think we'll go Eight inside or nine in the day and bring you up to speed on everything else right so we're back in percy back in the warmth back with the heating Oh, right, Ugh. bring you guys up to speed on everything. So, for those that are new to the channel, we are normally, we'd consider ourselves quite upbeat, quite positive people, but we had a terrible few months. So, yeah, when we get back to the UK, like I said, uh, I never know quite what to say, because our usual words of it was great, doesn't really apply to a funeral. Um, but everything went fine. We then spent some time with the family, particularly Alison's family. And um, yeah, but the ferry to come back, us and our three animals. Unfortunately, our eldest cat Mapia took a, that started going downhill rapidly. And 24 hours before 24 hours before we got on the ferry, um, we lost him, being blunt. So it's been shit. Life has been really shit for us. I think what we're gonna do now is get ourselves sorted, take a drive and go to today's first stop. And um, yeah, look, we'll see you there. I think we'll get there, take some time, get ourselves a bit more smiley. Put ourselves together. Yeah. 
and oh, sorry, we'll, we'll see you there in a minute. Well, we've moved on um, after having time to dry our eyes pull and ourselves together. pull ourselves together. Sorry about that, but yeah, it, sorry about that. It has been a really, and we don't normally say this, but a really, really shit few months for us. Yeah, but anyway, it's not been the best. On to brighter stuff. So we've come up into the mountains, and that shot me. How yeah. just suddenly we've got, I knew this was going to be hilly. I didn't realise this was going to be mountainous around here. And oh, what we've come to see is what? The board shows where the mountains are. Yes, yes. Black Forest National Park. Sorry, I gave it away. Yeah. We're in the Black Forest National Park. Yeah. And well, we've actually come to see... This is going to be the problem, isn't it? This place. I know that bottom says, says Vassa for, for... Well, it says something. Vassa Fall. Basically, we think this is something to do with the Angel's Waterfall or something. Right, something else. So, where we are is the, 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 there. And you'll notice on the bottom of the screen now, it's got the what three words. Going forward, we've been trialling this, but going forward, what we're going to be doing is putting the what three words in for where we park Percy. So you know the exact dot is exactly where we parked in that car park for here. And when we cover places we stay overnight, that's where we're parking. So if you want to park where we park, because we've tested it for you, what three words here? Indeed. Well, there we go. There's the waterfall, all <coughs> done. Jobs are good and let's go back to the van and get toasty. Don't be a bar humbug. To be fair, this is actually a really nice start. And I don't believe this is the actual official waterfall, but... I would hope not, but yeah. yeah. This, is, this is very pretty. Good start. Good way very to good start, start this. Get very us back in the mood start. for it. We're not sure how long this walk is, to be fair, but apart from it being very blooming gold, it's, um, well, very pretty. Not that you guys can see, because I got the camera facing the wrong way, but walking along the side of this river. That's lovely. Sound of water. Yeah. Which is always a good, uh, a good sound for us. Oh, by the way. Bart's got his coat Bart's on. Bart's with us. He's got his coat on as well, because he's that cold. Oh, that's cool. That's all soggy too, look. Yeah. It's coming out of everywhere, isn't it? Yep. God, it's cold though, isn't it? It's bitter. Bitter. And Not I don't mean bitter as in thank you. No, uh, is it bitter, thank you? I don't know. This is no, going to be the big please. problem for us, isn't it, with this next part of the tour? Because Bitters, please. We speak very broken Spanish. I know the British sheep people out there seem to think we speak fluent Spanish. Trust <laughs> me. To the Spanish, oh. we speak very broken Spanish. And, oh. oh, yeah, hold well on. Oh, steps but the next already. part of this um, this tour, we're going to speak none of the languages. So we're going to have to learn 95 different languages. We are. And he's. Uh, Bart's having Bart's another having poo. The poo. Back in a sec. Well, that's that job sorted, but back to the views. Um, this looks lovely. With the, it does. The, the bridge thing here, the water coming down there. But yeah, look how clear this ball is at the bottom. I bet that is absolutely Baltic. Yeah, I'm not thinking we want to go swimming in there right now. I imagine it's going to be fairly cold most of the year round, I even in the summer. I would say so, but it does look very inviting. It does. It looks so clear. It's beautiful. And it's exactly our kind of place. However, we have noticed 73 steps. Got to, got to come up the stairs, Bobby. Yeah. Lots of stairs. Oh. It's lovely, but I can't help but a notice more, the stairs. A lot more stairs to go, yeah. But that is so pretty. That's gorgeous. That's lovely. Yeah. But that is that the big bit or? Don't know. I don't know. That's the bit. Do you know the one thing I've got to say about Germany so far? First impressions. I know this is just me. When I think of German and Germany as a country, I think organised and 
efficient. Efficient. And everything is very organised. It's a very tidy country. Yeah. It really is. We saw very little litter on the side of the road. And or leaves. Yeah, or anything. The, to the be road fair. was so leafless, considering we were in the trees. Yeah. And they're all molting. And then you come to this, and it's a proper, like that. Like this with the stairs, proper stairs, structured park to get up there. Yet, being blunt, back in Spain, slightly more adventurous because you'd be clambering up rocks. I've got to say, this is awesome. Darling, I am loving this. Beautiful. It's nice to get out and see some pretty scenery and pretty nature again. Look at that rock edge. What's that? Oh, mm. the way it's all stepped down with the moss and everything on it. It almost looks like a giant tree, doesn't it? it with does. the moss on it. That's incredible. Oh. However, it is a long way up, isn't Remind it? Remind me not to look up. What's that? Oh, you got an old dizzy doo drop again. Yeah, for those that saw our videos back when we lived in Spain full time, Alison had uh, vertigo. Yeah. Since we've been ill, it's hit again, hasn't it? Yeah. Vertigo is sideways, darling. Yes, it? It's a lovely way to start, isn't it? It is. We, we do, do prefer being in nature. Yeah. It's so much nicer than a big city. Yeah, we do cover the big cities, but I don't know, I don't know if it comes across on the videos. We get more of a kick out of these. This sort of thing, nature, small villages, pretty little places. Type of place I'd love to live. Up in the mountains. A little chocolate box village with the uh, Christmassy buildings. I think anyone and watches snow the in winter. watches the village, watches the channel regularly, knows we really don't like cities. Yeah. That sound is just fabulous. Yeah. This is really pretty. Bit of water. It's kind of got a little bit of everything that we love. Is water, there an ice cream mountain. shop at the end? <laughs> I, ice cream or cakey baking shop? No, ice cream. Oh. Always ice cream. Always ice cream. Okay. Oh, Even no. though it feels Hot like chocolate. minus five. Hot chocolate. And ice cream. Indeed. All right, hot chocolate it is. With ice cream on the top. Bet there's not a shop at the top for that. No, I bet there isn't a shop at the top at all. Well, we're just taking five minutes. Bart's just been in the lake and had, had a, a lake, drink. river, and had a drink. He does love that. He doesn't feel the cold on his feet no. at all, does he? He proper enjoys all of this stuff. But yeah, we thought we'd just take a couple of minutes just to kind of explain what this means for the big plan now we know what we're doing yeah so new plan as you can probably tell we've all come back from the uk we're now heading through germany we wanted to see this area so we thought we'd spend a few days here <coughs> sorry alison's still got a cough. <laughs> yes i still have a cold i still cough and have yeah, vertigo at still, the same time we're still not fully fit we just have germs that don't want to go away yeah. Um, yeah, so where were we? You know, um, so we're going to take some, taking a few days in Germany, then going to go into Liechtenstein, yes. which is a tiny little place. Spend silly. a few days in Austria, and then get back on route, which was then to hit Slovenia. No idea. I've forgotten. Whatever the one is, just north of Croatia. You're the you're the geography. And we've got a plan to spend at least a couple of weeks there then a couple of weeks in Croatia, by which point in time we should be getting close to Christmas. Yeah. We've got to go Austria. Austria, Switzerland. Where's Innsbruck? Austria. Austria. Go yeah. to Austria first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're going to plan on spending Christmas, we think, in southern Croatia. For <laughs> being stared at. Why what? The little uh, wirehead dashend was just staring with intent. Right, come on then. Oh. Let's uh, continue on up 
Mind the uh, metal. I don't block. know how much further this has got to go. But anyway, so yeah, as we continue the walk, basically that's the new plan, puts us into Turkey. We've still got massive question marks over uh, the visas for Turkey. Still don't know what's going to happen there. We could end up only spending three months here. We're hoping to spend in nearly a year and giving it a proper tour. Yeah. But we'll, we'll work it, you know, we'll plan if we have to leave after three months and spend three months elsewhere, we'll go up and see Bulgaria, Romania and all that sort of neck of the woods and then head back into Turkey again. We'll see. Well, looks like we've come to a, a junction. Clearing. There's buildings. There's ah. a round thing. That's, we saw that from the road, didn't we? Yeah, that's got a statue in the middle of the round thing that, to me, as we drove past quickly, looked like Rodan's thinker. Ah, gotcha. The guy with the... on his chin, on his head, yeah, wherever it actually ever. is. Yeah, What's that? that that's that one of those Mandela effects, isn't it? Some people remember it there, others remember it there. Yeah. Don't See, know which one it actually is. As it's up, shall we go up first? I was going to say, as it's up, should we not <laughs> Should we... Yeah, go on then. Or we could just go to the ruins, which we saw. Let's go to the ruins. Yeah, because we did see some ruins and we, we were hoping this would lead up to them. Darling, yeah. see this house up here? Yeah. This one? Yeah. The, 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 the chocolate box thing? Yeah. I love that. It's very That's... Swiss chalet, yeah. Heidi and Goat Peter-ish, isn't it? Kinda it kind of reminds me, when I was young, my nan, this is my mum's mum, had musical boxes <laughs> that looked exactly like that. Aww. Yeah, it reminds me of that when I was young. I think it's probably why I've always wanted to live in one. <laughs> I didn't realise that there was going to be this up here. I knew the ruins were there. I didn't see all these other houses though, to be fair. But the one thing I am hoping they've got here... A toilet? No, I know we're being... Because what you guys don't realise is in the other hand... There's a Barty poop. The, the, yeah, there's the Barty remains. In a bag, obviously, a bag. not just in your hand. No, I'm not just holding it like Although that. Although it would keep your hand warm, I'm guessing, but, you know... Yeah, a little bit... Never hold my hand again. No. Well, we, we have a winner. Yes. Well, for the bin, yeah. I, 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 I see the bin. So I don't have to carry around the, uh, the Barty gifts. Burn. There we go. Although you do know what that means now, don't you? Now I've chucked it. He'll have another one. Look, I don't know whether it's just our dog or uh, everybody's dog, but by habit, by yeah. nature, what will happen is he will not need a poo now until we are far enough away from the bin that it's not worth walking back to it. Yeah. No one needs to have a poo right by the bin. Never. Do your bar. Hey, eh? Do ya. So we're here, aren't we? A la Heiligen Fall. Yeah. Please. Well done though on the pronunciation. That sounds really German people, please excuse me for my horrendous pronunciation. Yeah, no, I, I can't I, even I, say the word, man. I think we said back down further down the path that German is one of many languages we don't speak at all. There's several languages we don't speak well, like Spanish and, for me, English. But German, I don't speak a word of it. Come on then, let's go have a look at the ruins. Okay, come on then. <laughs> this is the, the ruins. It's got to be a church, yeah? I would say so. Looks in quite good con I was going to say it looks in quite good condition for ruins, but it doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Yeah. I love the tower. The Rapunzel, yeah. Rapunzel let down your hair tower. It proper looks like Rapunzel, doesn't it? Yeah. Eh? Hey? That's gorgeous. We've not shown this on camera, but we bumped into a number of people on the way up here, haven't yes. we? Yes. And dogs. And I've got to say something. German people, the ones we've met, really nice, really friendly. They have been very friendly, yeah. yes. Which is a real shame because we've, I'll be honest with you, we've not had the best opinion on Germans since we've been on the road, have we? <laughs> Our experience with, how can I say this politely? Our experience with German motorhomers has been quite negative. They've been really aggressive, really rude, not very helpful, not very friendly. But here, it's been brilliant since we've been here. Yeah. Not met a grumpy person yet. No. Which we like. P 
people make a place, as we keep saying. They do. So we've uh, come up on the hill behind now because Alison saw this chair. Hey. Eh? Oh, missed. Oh, this this is going to end well. You can just see it, can't you? Hey. Eh? <laughs> Plop. Hey. Right. We're all comfy. Hey, Bart. All comfy. Well, I've got to say, that has been a really lovely way to start this off. Yeah. Get us back in the swing of things. Yeah. Hopefully, oh, I'm not going to say it. Don't. Say yeah, it. you know what I was going to say. Do not I'm tempt sure any more fate. I'm sure you guys know what fate. I was going to say, no. so I'm not going to say it. Don't tempt any more fate. I don't know how much else we can cope with. Yeah. I think we're just going to take five minutes here like we normally do. Relax and then take the walk back down to Percy and we'll probably see you tonight or tomorrow morning tomorrow. at the park up. Good morning. Um, yeah, it's cold again this morning, isn't it, Bobby? It really is, darling. Very cold. Really oh, good night, sleep. Um, by the way, I don't think we mentioned this last night. So this is again another paid one, only 10 euros for a night. And um, we did actually pay this time. <laughs> yes, Germany, we are actually good people normally. It's only when your machines don't work. I'm glad we did actually, because the man turned up last night and asked to see our uh, our tickets. But I think this morning, after we've had a nice slow start, do you want the heating back on? Yeah. Okay. I think after uh, a nice slow start this morning, we uh, are going to head off and see the village. But, as a little side note, we've we made a decision when we first started this channel, didn't we? That we were not gonna use this to specifically sell things, yeah, sell products. However, we always said we'd be happy to do reviews on products that we would genuinely use. And as such, lo and behold, we've turned down quite a few, haven't we? But lo and behold, good timing for us when we were in England, we were able to pick up a couple of products we've been offered to do a review on that we would use. So today is just a very quick introduction and over time we'll, we'll uh, what's that, what I'm trying to say, bring you up to speed Let on our opinion. Think of them. But basically what we've said to anybody that's come to us and said will you review our product is, as long as you're happy for us just to use it and tell people how we find it as we use it over time, we won't do specific videos and we have to also be able to say it's shit if it's shit. So first two things are we've been given a power bank by all powers. First impressions are quite good. This is a we've got another power bank system bigger a lot more power this here the center is quite a, a small one but I like that. Petite. Yeah no I like that because this I can see us using this, taking it on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. To and use. And this is the brand, one of the brands we were looking at. Yeah. When we bought the other one. Ours. Yeah. Handle. I'm sorry to our other manufacturer, but handle. This handle. I know it sounds silly. Is function over uh, function over. Function over form. Function over form. The other one is form over function. Yeah. It looks very cool, whereas this is practical. And just works. Yeah. Yeah. And, the other, and on here, it's also got a wireless chargey thing. Uh, so uh, yeah. so I, I did not know I that. I think that'll be quite useful. I did not know that. Quite useful, apart from they did send us one with British plugs on, and obviously everything we've got is European plugs. So it's not switched on, darling. <laughs> our, our review. <laughs> our review. It doesn't work unless you switch it on. Yes, I really <laughs> am that thick. What have I done? Oh, I don't know. What have you done? Maybe we should. Oh no, there we go. I was going to say maybe we should have charged that up before we showed it. Oh, oh dear. Lord. While, while the wife's trying to work that out. <laughs> oh God, I'm such a twat. The other thing is this. Now this one I was excited about. This. It's a coffee machine. 
Old Barty Mouse Man yeah. is really stupid. <laughs> He's still trying to work that one out. But yeah. yeah, this is a coffee machine. They're always really excited about this one. If you watch the channel, you know we love going off on I adventures. And I love coffee. And this is a coffee machine, but this is like a triple coffee machine. Is that the best way to put it? So I can use... Yeah. Um, I bought some. Some of these pods in it to make coffee. Or I can put ground coffee in it. We did, we did try experimenting with tea. That didn't work quite so well, did it? No. No, it did, it did okay. It's clearly not meant for that. But yeah, looking forward to trying this, going up on hikes. Yeah, because we can just slot that in the side of the rucksack and um, take that with us. <laughs> you got it working. Yeah? Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that little pink yeah. ring? Um, it, it does work. Um, it does work. But we'll uh, continue to keep you guys up to speed on what we think of them as we use them over time. Because yeah. I don't think you can really tell a product until no. you spend some serious time with it. No. And bearing in mind, you hid the distractions for this, so I don't have a clue how to use it. So that was actually just hit and miss that I pressed the button to put the power to the USB watsits that then activates the watsit charger. Yeah, I can't get my words out this morning. My brain is so not with me. <laughs> and, and I'm a typical man. I don't need any <coughs> You don't do distractions, do no, you? No, I don't. I just push buttons. Well, we're all wrapped up nice and warm. Taking a walk down by uh, quite a river, actually. It's quite nice. But I believe we've got to go across that bridge, haven't we? Yep. And then this is the part here, the old town. That's the old town that interests us. The pretty kind of... Yes. What's the word I'm looking for? Bavarian. But are we in Bavarian? We're not in Bavaria, though, no. are we? We worked that out yesterday. Yeah, we did. But it looks Bavarian to me. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of got that chocolate box. What did you call it? Biscuit tin look. No. The old biscuit tins. Well, yeah, chocolate box, biscuit tin and jigsaw puzzle. That's kind of typical. We find a place to cross the road, or cross, the, not the road, the, 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 the train tracks and they shut it down. I presume we've got a train coming. And a jujima path is coming. Yeah. Be cool if it was an old classic one, wouldn't it? Oh, wouldn't it just? He's the chocolate ambulance. Come on then, off you go. The chocolate ambulance. It looks like we found the entrance to the town. Oh, look, it's still got a portcullis. Oh, yeah, it has. Oh. But Oh, everyone seems to be walking through there like good people instead of walking, should, should we just walk through the main thing anyway? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I was going to go that way and then I thought, nah. You were going to behave and then oh, thought yeah. better of it, yeah? Yeah, but I thought I'd better do it quite quickly. Oh, yeah, we're going down this road. Well, yeah, but what I do... No, I, look, no, I, no, I, no, no. And again, no. My wife wins, and we're going off down the side road. Of course. To see. Oh, it's very pretty though, I've got to give you that. So is this like the German version of terraced housing then, do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of like, like a it, muse, isn't it? isn't it? Damn sight like better than British terraced housing, that's for sure. <laughs> so, hmm. this building is so beautiful, but I challenge you to pronounce what's above the door. No, something that I am noticing again. How tidy is everything? Very. Not seeing any litter around, really. <laughs> There's a <sighs> tissue. All right, so apart from one tissue, <laughs> which we could have picked up, lift the lid up then. Oh. Well, I can't, I guess I can. There we go. And so, yes, now we've got rid of that tissue. No litter on the floor. At no all. litter on the floor. Really tidy, really organised. That's the other thing. Yeah. Germans are really organised people. Oh dear. Well. Church doors closed. Oh. Okay, so uh, to explain, <laughs> we, 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 we oh, stood outside. Okay. This gentleman speaks really good English, and we were speaking to him a little while ago. And he basically said, 
I don't know if he works here or what the situation is, but he's basically left. Let's see. Oh, there. Right. Where are we go? We've got the dog with us. And, and that's Amy, by the way. She lovely. Yeah? Okay. Come in and look. All right, come here. It's a very interesting, unique church. Wait. Oh, wow. You know? Lots of paintings. Yes, yes, and good paintings. Yeah. Uh, and this is a... Uh, uh, you don't see very often a church like this. Mm. Oh, bless him. He's been so helpful. Um, oh, wow. Even better view from here. Look at this. Oh, do you know what, Germany? Again, I, I've got to take it back. Your churches are stunning inside if this is what churches look like inside in Germany. If this is typical. I, yeah, another thing I need to apologise to Germany for. Where's Bart? I've tied him up outside where the gentleman <laughs> tied Amy. I, I, I just said. Another thing I need to apologise to Germany for. This is stunning inside. This is incredible. It's so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Look at the organ. Look at the ceiling. the ceiling. I've yeah. not noticed the ceiling. Have you not? That's incredible. This place is just oh. spectacular. Well, that was, yeah. Quite incredible. Yes, indeed. Oh dear, I don't know. It's like I said in there, Germany has shocked me completely. Mm. I'm a little bit lost for words. Rickavere. Yeah. It's got a taste of Rickavere, but it's just stunning. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, this street is just in a league on its own. We were noticing these, weren't we? The cellar doors. Yeah. Just big old chunks of metal. Phenomenal. What a way to start this two year tour. Yeah. After what we've gone through over the last few months. I kind of needed this to pick us, pick us off the floor. Yeah, pick ourselves back up. All right, gentlemen, by the way. i tell you what I do need, though. Food. Yeah, it's getting to that time. It's getting to food o'clock. It is food o'clock. Should we go and see if we can find some food? We think we've got a winner. This looks like reasonably priced stuff. And it looks like it's got very traditional Germany sounding stuff. Well, it's got goulash. And yeah, you wanted to try goulash, didn't you? Yeah. Should we go in then? <sighs> well. <laughs> got hat hair. Nice hat hair. This and is pretty. Um, yeah. Little hearts in there. Yeah. Yeah. We've ordered food, and you have gone for goulash. I have gone for goulash. Which is very German sounding. And Never had it. A, no idea what I it is. I think this is going to turn out to be like curry sausage thing. Curry wiener, wiener, wiener sausage. Curry first. First? Curry first. Is it curry first? Curry first. There's definitely something I associate with a German sausage anyway. Food's here. Just stealing the chip. That's kind of what I expected it to look like. This is interesting. See, that doesn't look like it, but that really smells of curry. Well, your sauce tastes of tomato, but I should imagine that's curry powder. Oh, so it is like a, just a German sausage with tomato ketchup and... Curry powder. Curry powder dumped on top. Oh, those chips are nice, though. I would like to take the curry one. How's your soup that you haven't tried? <laughs> I have tried. It's nice. So this is goulash. <laughs> goulash is being... Goulash is the Meat name of vegetable. the soup. It, yeah, but it's like the name of the soup, isn't it? Mm. Okay. Well, that was um, that was lovely. Really tasty. I got it. I mean, 
yeah, I may have moaned a little bit about the sausage and basically the hot dog and chips, but the reality was, for the price, really, really good value. Very the good food, value. Well, the food was really good value. The price of coffee in this country is ridiculous, though. Yes, but it was very nice coffee. It was lovely coffee, but considering we pay one to two euros max in Spain yes. for a coffee, five yes. euros for a coffee or milk. Yeah. Wow. It was very expensive. It um, seems the town has come alive <laughs> since yes. we've had food. The town has come alive, but there is something else I want to talk about with that restaurant cafe. It was a lovely experience. Because? Very relaxing. Because? Quiet. Yeah. Quiet, peaceful, tranquil. <laughs> having, having spent time many years in Spain, we're used to going into a bar or restaurant and it just being very loud. Everyone trying to outspeak each other. But that, that was so, everyone was just quiet was and lovely. doing their own little thing and it was great. And the other thing that I don't know how to explain, it, it was like a respectfulness of everything. A, a, the guy that we got chatting to in there, he knocked a plate over. And it's like, when he done it, everyone turned away so he could pick it up quietly and privately without drawing attention to it. Yep. And we wondered if that was just a one-off, then she, the, the waitress, dropped a, a thing on the floor. And everyone did the same thing. It was yep. almost like this respectful, let's not make a thing of it, not bring attention to a person's error. Ah. Oh. What a place. That's really lovely. Yeah. That's made my week. Yeah. Um, it seems a shame to... It seems a shame we actually wave goodbye to Germany and just do one video from here, but it was never on the card in the first place. No, so... it was only because we had to go back to the UK that it made us come from this side of the Europe. Yeah. But look, promises. We're going to promise ourselves and you guys, we're coming back here. I want to have a proper look around Germany now. Yes. Never did before. But I suppose that's a lesson, isn't it? Yep. Never listen, judge a book. Yeah. Listen to the words we often preach, which is don't judge something until you see it. Yeah. So I think now we're just going to head back to Percy. What is the time? It must be. 20 to 3. 20 to 3, so we've got just over an hour before our parking runs out, our 24 hours of parking. So we're going to get back to Percy, I think, and get ourselves sorted, get on the road and get down to tonight's stop. Honestly, I don't think we'll see you guys tonight unless something happens. Again, very nice and polite Yes, German lovely. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll see you guys tonight unless something dramatic happens. So oh, we'll see Darren. you in the... Did you really just say that? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. See you in the morning. So you may notice I donned hat and everything again and Alison isn't with me because it's very dark outside by so I don't know what you're going to see of this but we need to go and find Alison because she changed the plans a little bit. Well, one second. Hello in the dark there. Hi. How are you? I'm just reading a a Facebook, uh, not a Facebook, an Instagram message that we received on Thursday. Today is Saturday. We've just received it. Oh. Yet again. The wonders of Meta. Um, look, it, it's kind of dark here, so we'll go and get in some light. We found a bit of light, and I suppose an explanation is due, because we're no longer in Germany. We're not. Because my wife made change of plan again. Welcome to Switzerland. Yes, we've come to Switzerland, and um, yeah, because right, uh, we're going to get in a lift. I don't know if you're just going to see reflections, yeah, probably just see reflections of us. But, why am I seeing a... Oh, there! I was going to say, what? why am I seeing a train? Ha <laughs> yeah. So, to, to explain, yeah, slight change, we've just come into the edge of Switzerland, because you found something you wanted to go and see, which is what we're going to go and take you to see, Neil. But it's something a little bit different. Yeah, and it's how... supposed to be better in the dark, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hello. I think. Oh, behind you, oh, darling. <laughs> Get in a different um, door. <coughs> no fur only. What? Okay. I'm guessing it's open and free at night. It says out of order. That's why. 
we may have just scored a freebie oh, without realizing awesome. happy days. um yeah look this is gonna get clearly really dark um so hopefully you can hear me. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to hear me because it's dark. <laughs> right, so you can't see me. I am here, but you can hear me. So what was I going to say? Yeah, so we're going to have to do this tonight anyway because the parking is free between 6 in the evening and 9 in the morning. Yeah. And then it's how much for the first hour? 42 euros. 42 euros. 40 Swiss francs, mm. which according to Google is 42 euros. Very expensive. However, check this out. That Hopefully is that comes out on camera. Spectacular. That is incredible. Oh my. Oh my God, look at it. That is insane. Look at this. I hope you can hear us over the sound of the water. That, look at it. Look at the power of it coming over the edge here. And look at the speed. To explain, we're actually stood on this platform, which from what we can tell is literally just there's the edge and it's just dangling out over this water. So hopefully you can hear me. Yeah. This is meant to be Europe's largest plains waterfall, as in not going from one side to another. It's it's on the plane, not gotcha. at two different heights. That's just insanity. We're having to use the uh, mobile phone thing because hopefully this will come out. We found a, a tunnel a tunnel going to something. I think we're supposed to be going down it because there's stairs. So well, it doesn't say you can't. Yeah. Careful because this will be proper slippy. Yeah. Where's this going? <laughs> oh my giddy on. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, look how blooming close we are to this. Oh, that is just ridiculous. I can feel the water spraying me in the face. Hopefully this is not messing up the lens too much. Well, we're back in Germany. We uh, decided to leave the waterfall last night and not risk getting, having to pay 40 euros for an hour parking. Indeed. Please excuse me eating my minstrels. <laughs> um, well, last night that waterfall was... It's incredible. It's got to be the single most spectacular waterfall I think we've seen so far. Ever? Yeah, incredible. But, yeah, that's kind of it for this week, guys. We are now hitting the road um, and heading to one of Europe's smallest countries. We will see you there next weekend. Thanks for watching and um, see you next Sunday. See you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.